Many people are not familiar with some international shipping terms. We often get asked, what is customs and what are duties? Importing products from different countries is a rather advanced process for cooking. This process of importing products or receiving products from another country requires that the shipment to you goes through something called customs. I am sure you have heard this term, but I'm going to explain this to you. Customs are like special rules in a country when things are brought in from another country. When you bring something to a new country, there are special people called customs officers who check if it's okay. They ask questions, look at what you brought, and sometimes you might need to pay money called duties. Duties are like a fee for bringing things into your country. Customs officers want to keep everyone safe and make sure everyone follows the rules. These fees are typically to pay for your country's service of providing this level of safety. And this safety could be to protect from illegal drug imports to your country. Duties officers are playing a safety role for your country. We do not know what the duty amount is in your country. Sometimes it is dollar seven to five USA dollars in the United States, for example, or it could be seven to five shekels in Israel or 10 euros in European Union. You should learn what this amount is for your country. It is your responsibility to know what the cost of safety is in your country for the product you want to import. At free from that we typically mark the products you purchased as a gift that is plant-based meaning that it does not contain animal products and is not a chicken and it is not made from eggs. We have to put on the paperwork what the value of the gift is that we are shipping to you. In some countries the gift value is low, in others it is high. The gift value will be used to decide whether your country decides to inspect the shipment. We typically ship by Federal Express or FedEx and they have their own inspection that operates on behalf of the country you are importing the product to. For our economy use size, we typically have the product size not to exceed 400 grams. This bag size fits firmly inside one FedEx box. If you order two, for example, our shipping department will add one product per box and take the boxes together. The duties officer has special equipment to check each bag and make sure the product is not illegal. That means they may puncture the bags and test the product. They then seal the bag and repack the shipment. This is completely normal for your country customs office to do this. It is your responsibility as the customer once you receive the shipment to check to make sure no powder is spilling out. If it is spilling out, you should reject the shipment and contact your local Federal Express office and tell them that your shipment was damaged upon receipt. FedEx will return to your home or office and ask for the complete shipment. We will then be notified that FedEx damaged the shipment and they will pay the cost of reshipping a new product to you. This may take two to three weeks, but it is the proper way to handle an international shipment. If you have ordered a 10 kg bag size of 24 pounds in the USA, this is packaged and handled differently. Make sure to handle the shipment with care when you receive your order. Check the shipment and either receive the shipment or reject the shipment. Remember, if you reject the shipment, you have to return the entire shipment. You cannot take some product out and keep it. FedEx will measure the weight of the box you returned and verify that no amount was removed. So we know this process of international shipping sounds very complicated, but we will tell you that the solution is to move slowly and cautiously. Understand how your country works for receiving products from our shipping country. All of our orders ship from the country of Spain. And be prepared at your customs office or FedEx calls you and advises you you will have to pay a duty. Best of luck to you and happy international plant-based cooking.